Good morning, Miss Nancy. Good morning, Miss Polly. It's good to see each other. It, yes, it is. Even Ms. though we live together. I know. It's still good to see you. But you know what? What? We don't live with the boys and girls that we've been missing so much. All the boys and girls that we haven't seen for months and months. I know. We need to say good morning. Good morning, good morning our morning, little friends. Yes, we, it's good to see all of and you. We love huh? you so much. We do, and we miss you. Huh? And you're going to learn about somebody else that loves you very, very much today, too. I can't wait to hear. So, well, let's get started. Okay. Our story today is from the New Testament. It's from the book of Mark, okay. chapter 1, verse 16 to 20. Okay. Now, boys and girls, Miss Nancy colored a picture page. It's got a little cut, Miss Nancy, but it's kind of like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you can color today, this afternoon, when you have time at home and share this with your parents. And Miss Ann, you know, Miss Ann, Miss Ann, say hi. Hi. I'm wearing my mask. Hi, Miss Ann. Ann. It's good to see you. Miss Ann is going to show the pictures that Miss Nancy colored. They're a little bit bigger so you can see them. And then we'll tell the story with the pictures. Okay. And then we'll talk in between time too. That sounds good. So let's begin, Miss Nancy. Okay. When Jesus was all grown up, he went to the Jordan River and asked John to baptize him. Then Jesus went into the wilderness. He stayed there for 40 days. Then Jesus left the desert and was ready to start his ministry. And Miss Nancy, do you remember last week that the boys and girls were with, um, with the group last week? They talked about Jesus being baptized by John. I do remember, remember that. that. Okay. Yeah, I do remember that. And that's that. like in our church, when when the babies are baptized, they sprinkle them. Sprinkle the water, mm -hmm. put water on their head. And mm -hmm. sometimes people are actually baptized and they're dipped down in the water yeah. and they're brought back up. That's, that's what happened way, with Jesus and John. Right, that's yeah. the way Jesus was, was baptized. Yeah. He actually went into the river and they lowered him down into the river and he came back up. John did that. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what John did. Yeah. Okay, let's begin. Okay. The first thing Jesus did was to find some friends to help him. And Miss Ann, why don't you show our first picture for us, please? As Jesus walked along the Sea of Galilee, he saw two fishermen named Simon Peter and Andrew. Jesus called out to the two fishermen, follow me, I will make you fish for people. Simon Peter and his brother Andrew immediately left their nets and followed him. A little way farther, Jesus saw two more brothers, James and John. He called them too. They jumped out of the boat, leaving their father with the nets and followed Jesus. Now, Miss Ann, take that picture down and Miss Nancy and I want to talk about that. What do you think, or why, what do you think it means when Jesus said to, the, to James and John and Simon Peter and Andrew to follow me and you will fish for people? I thought you fish for fish. Well, you fish for fish was like a net that Miss Ann, the picture that Miss Ann showed, it had a, a net in there. And, and fishermen sometimes use a, a rod and a reel and everything out in the water, but you wouldn't do that with people. But I think what it meant when they said that you should fish for people is that you should go around and you should find people and you should bring them to you and that you should talk to them. And then those people then can go out and find other people that they can bring to them. So they're bringing them to them, just like fishermen would bring the fish to them. And when the fishermen have a lot of fish, they're trying to catch it through those big nets over the side of the boat. Right. And they gather the fish into that. So Jesus wants us to go out and gather people. Lots of people. Like the fishermen gather fish. Okay. Yes. Now also, why do you think the fishermen were so eager to drop their fishing boats, their friends, their father, everything they had, and just run after Jesus to follow him. Well, I think it's because the people had heard about Jesus, and they knew the good things that Jesus did. And so they wanted to join him so that they could go out and tell other people what Jesus had done. And then those people could tell other people what Jesus had done, so, and they could continue on until everybody would know. So that way they could could learn what Jesus is doing and spread that around and get more people to be his followers. I think That's so. a good idea. Well, let's begin again. Okay, okay. Let's hand the next picture, please. On the Sabbath day, Jesus and his friends went to the synagogue to worship. Jesus stood up and taught the people worshiping that day. People were amazed at what he had to say. He was so brave and confident. He was very different from the other teachers. While Jesus was teaching, a man disrupted the lesson with shouting. Jesus was able to calm the unruly man. Once again, the people were amazed. They told others about Jesus, and soon all the region knew who Jesus was and what he could do. So you mean, Miss Polly, 
that when Jesus was speaking, just like it showed there in the picture, it's kind of like when Pastor Chris teaches us on Sundays. Mm -hmm. he, he is in the pulpit and he talks to us, right. just like Jesus was doing. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Let's hand the next picture. Another time, Jesus and his friends went to Simon Peter's house. He was one of the disciples, remember, that I remember Jesus that. had gotten. Simon Peter's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a fever. Jesus took her hand and made her well. She felt so good that she made dinner for them. She made dinner for the people? She felt better that quickly. I wonder what they had. I was. Well, since they lived by the Sea of Galilee and they had been fishermen, maybe they brought fish. I bet they had some fish. Bread. And I bet, I bet his some the mother in law made some bread too. I bet so. It was a good dinner. And you know what? what? That was just like what they were telling that, that you should do good for other people. Right. So Simon Peter's mother in law, she did good since she made made dinner for all After of them. After Jesus healed her, then she made dinner to share with all of them. And she right she was doing thing. what Jesus had told them to do. Now, we got one little sentence here before Miss Hand comes back in. Okay. By the time the sun went down, so many people had heard about Jesus and what he could do that many, many people gathered outside the home. They brought people who were sick and hurting, and Jesus healed them too. Just like, again, they brought, brought people to them, like the fishermen. They right. were bringing people to them so they could share the message. That's right. The next morning, while it was still very dark, Jesus got up and went to a quiet place to pray. And this hand showed that picture of Jesus out in the garden praying. And Jesus wants us to always pray whenever we're sad or we hurt or something's bothering us. He wants us to talk to him in prayer. Even when, we, even when we're happy. Right. Anytime. You're supposed to have to tell him. Anytime, to him. anytime you want to talk to Jesus, you're supposed to do that. And tell Jesus the good things and even the sad things because that's what Jesus wants us to do. That's right. Now our last picture, Miss Ann shows all the disciples that Jesus had at that time, the four men. And it says, Simon, Peter, Andrew, James, and John went looking for Jesus. They told Jesus that people were looking for him. Jesus said, let's go on to the neighboring towns. They need me too. I will tell everyone good, God's good news because that is what I came to do. Now, Miss Nancy, what do you think that good news is, is that Jesus wants us to tell about? Well, I think that good news is what we learned in today's lesson, Miss Polly. Okay. I think it's that we're supposed to follow Jesus okay. and that we're supposed to be his helpers. Mm -hmm. And and Jesus teaches us about God's love and teaches us that, that God will always be with us and that he will always love us no matter what. So the main thing we need to know about God is that he always loves us. Yes, and he, he wants us to learn to love other people That's and right. to help other people. Well, you know, it's kind of like the song, Jesus Loves Me. Right. So you, you can sing Jesus Lo We We won't do that right now. But you and your family can sing Jesus Loves Me because that's what it's all right. about. Because Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. For the Bible tells, tells me, me so. so. Little, Little ones, ones to, to him belong. They, they are weak, weak but, but he is strong. strong. Yes, Jesus, Jesus loves me. me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I almost forgot how to say it because I wasn't singing it. I know. You know, Miss Nancy, it was fun sharing this story with you and with all the friends out there today. We're just sad we can't see them in person. I know. But we're glad you took time to share with us this morning. And we want you now to enjoy coloring the color sheet this afternoon. And remember that Jesus and God loves us all the time. That's right. And we love you. Bye. Bye.